Hello, beautiful yogis. Welcome to your spine and shoulder flexibility class. For today's class, you will only need one prop, which is a strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, don't worry. You could use a long scarf, uh, like a longer towel or even a belt. So once you have your strap on hand, you can go ahead and take it. You just want to wrap the ends of the strap around your wrist or around your hand until you have, I would say, about a meter between both hands. So I would say about twice or double the size of your shoulders in between. All right. From here, I'm going to change perspective so that you guys can see what's going on from the side. We're going to start warming up the muscles of the shoulders and work a little bit on mobility here. So you want to start out with the arms stretched out and throughout the whole movement, try to keep your arms as straight as possible. And you want to keep the um, strap taut so you kind of pull uh, away the hands away from one another. On your next inhale, you bring the arms overhead. You go as far as the shoulders allow you to. So maybe you're about here. That's fine. Maybe if you're extremely flexible in the shoulders or hyper flexible like I am, you can bring your um, strap all the way to your booty. But don't worry if you're not able to do that. On the exhale, you bring it back forward. Inhale, overhead. Again, listen to your body here. Don't force anything. Exhale, bring it back forward. You want to make very um, aware movements here. So no jerky movements. Just slow and controlled. Exhale, bring it back forward. We'll do three more. Inhale, the strap goes overhead. And exhale, bring the strap back to the front. Two more. And just start to deepen your breath here. Allow every inhale to be a little bit deeper than the previous one. Good, this was the last one. You can put your strap to the side. We won't really need it for the rest of the practice unless you want to use it for um, to help you get deeper into certain poses. So just put it off to the side somewhere where it's out of the way, consistent onto your heels, and walk yourself towards the back of the mat. From here, interlace your fingers behind you. Press your palms together. Inhale, open the chest. Press the upper arms towards one another, and then stretch out the arms. So... Lengthen the arms or stretch them fully out. Inhale, open the chest maybe even a little bit more. As long as it feels good, you can allow your head to hang back. And we'll just stay here for a few breaths. You could imagine someone having their thumb on the lower part of your shoulder blades and kind of pressing forward and up to help you open up from the center of your chest. So a few more breaths. You should feel a nice release here at the fronts of the shoulders. Two more. And if it doesn't feel good to have your head hanging back, just bring your chin into your chest. On the exhale, gently release your hands. Walk your knees apart until they're about the width of your mat. And then walk your hands forward. Coming to your child's pose. Taking a few deep breaths here. Once you're down in your child's pose, Imagine your whole body melting down into the floor. See if you can release any tension from the hips and the shoulders. With every inhale, see if you can find a little bit more length through the spine. And with every exhale, allow your body to become a little bit heavier again. Good, four more breaths. Notice if you're holding on to tension in the armpits. You can imagine a little weight hanging from the armpits to help kind of ground the armpits down towards your mat. Last deep breath in and out. On your next inhale, lift yourself up. Come to all fours, tabletop position. So knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders, and then we'll start bringing the movement throughout the whole spine for a cat and cow. 
So on the inhale, you hollow your spine. So you lift your tailbone up, you allow your belly to drop down. You glide your shoulder blades down to back to open the chest. And then again, as long as it feels good for your neck, you can look up towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, we reverse that motion. So you tuck your hips under, you lift your belly away from the floor. So a strong core engagement. You press through the inner armpits up and then you tuck your chin into your chest. Good, now we'll do that with a breath. Inhale, hollow the back. So opening the front of the body. Exhale, round the back, opening the back of the body. Good, three more, just following your own breath. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. And see if you can allow the movement to start in your low back and end with your head. So you're moving your spine in a ripple motion. Good, last breath in and out here. And then from here, walk your hands forward, come to your puppy pose. So the arms are fully stretched out. You wanna bring your forehead down to the floor and then you wanna make sure that your hips are aligned with your knees. So your hips are right on top of your knees. Staying here for a few breaths. Now press your palms firmly into the floor to lift the forearms off of the floor. See if you can find some space between your shoulder blades while at the same time pressing the upper arms towards one another, towards the midline. Press the backs of the hips towards the wall behind you to ensure that you're creating length throughout the spine. Two more breaths. You should feel a good stretch throughout your chest, your shoulders, or maybe even your armpits. Next inhale, gently lift yourself back up. Come back to your tabletop position. So hands on the shoulders. From your tabletop, you walk your hands one hand forward again. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. You have a lot of space in between the fingers, so you're really spreading your fingers as wide as possible. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees off of the floor, and then press your hips back towards the down dog. We'll take a few breaths here. Feel free to pedal out the feet here, especially if it's still quite early in the day. Or you wanna bring some extra attention to the hamstrings, give them a bit of a release. Good, gently come to stillness. Make sure your feet are hips distance apart. And you wanna have the outer edges of your feet parallel to the outer edges of the mat. So they're forming parallel lines. And once you do that, you shouldn't be able to see your own heels anymore. From here, press your chest firmly back towards your knees. And just like in puppy pose, see if you can broaden your shoulder blades. So bringing space between the shoulder blades as you press the upper arms together. Press firmly down through the knuckles of your index finger and your thumb, making sure those stay rooted. On your next inhale, roll to plank. So making a wave-like motion with your spine until you end up in your plank. On the exhale, you bend through the knees and you press back to down dog. Inhale, roll to plank. Exhale, down dog. Good, doing that three more times with the breath. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Two more times. Last one. Your shoulders should start to feel a little bit warmed up here. Now you can walk your feet together in your down dog. So your big toes will be touching one another. Lift your right leg straight up, coming to three-legged dog. Make sure your right toes are pointing straight down, so don't allow this right hip to roll open. Make sure you keep engaging the inner thighs to prevent the right hip from rolling open. Press your chest firmly back towards your left leg. All right, exhale, bring the right knee into your chest, step the right foot forward, left knee will come down, and then we'll come up to a low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. Good. 
make sure your core is nicely engaged here so that you get the full stretch on the left side of the front thigh here. You also wanna make sure that your right ankle is somewhat underneath your right knee. So you wanna make sure it's not too far in or too far out. Option one is to have the arms reaching up to the sky. Option two, take hold of opposite elbows. Make sure you keep your core engaged as you bend back. So again, you could imagine someone putting their thumb between your shoulder blades, pressing forward and up with their thumb to open from the chest, the middle of the chest. Keep pressing your hips down and forward. On the exhale, bring the hands down. Step your right foot back, come to a plank position, take a deep breath in. Exhale, shift the weight forward, bring your knees down, and then bring your chest right in between your hands. We're coming to knees, chest, and chin. Your chin is down onto the floor, and you're looking straight forward. All right, next, inhale, press your chest through the hands, untuck your toes, and come up to a baby cobra. So just lift your chest, press the upper arms towards each other again, tuck your toes under, exhale, downward dog. Walk your feet back together. On your next inhale, lift your left leg straight up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Again, make sure you keep your hips squared to the mat so don't allow the left hip to roll open. The left toes are looking straight down. So make sure you engage the inner thighs. One more deep breath in. Exhale, left knee to chest, roll forward, step your left foot forward. The right knee will come down. Inhale, reach up with the upper body. Again, check your core. Make sure you're pulling your belly button in and gently up towards your heart. So your core is nicely activated as you press the hips down. Option one with the arms is the one that we're in right now. Option two to take it a little bit further. Take hold of opposite elbows and then lean back with the shoulders. You keep pressing the hips forward as your chest reaches back and up. So it's not purely backward motion, it's always also an upward motion. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down. Step your left foot back, come towards your plank position, deep breath in. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. So shift the weight forward first, bring your knees down, chest in between the hands, look forward. Inhale, come up to either a baby cobra or full cobra. Make sure your arms stay bent. Exhale, downward dog. Good, a few breaths in your down dog. Feel free to pedal again if that feels good at this point. Take a moment to catch your breath. If that was a little bit on the intense side for you. Gently walk your feet back together. All right, next inhale, lift your right leg straight up. This time, bend the right knee and open the hips towards the right side. So you press the right hip over the left one. Make sure your shoulders stay stable. So the shoulders will have a tendency to kind of open up to the right side as well. See if you can press the right shoulder down to keep the shoulders parallel to the floor. Keep pressing your right knee up and forward over the body. Good, two more breaths. Keep pressing your chest back. Press through the thumb and the index finger. On your inhale, very gently roll forward. Step the right foot over the body towards the left side, coming to wild thing. Inhale, reach your right arm overhead. Fingertips pointing forward. Lift through the left armpit up. And then open your chest towards the ceiling. Good, exhale, right hand comes down. Step your right foot forward. Bring your left knee down. You now come back to low lunge. Option one, arms reaching up. Option two, taking hold of opposite elbows and going for a little back bend. One more deep breath in. Exhale, hands down. Move to your plank position, so step the right foot back. Deep breath in. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Look forward. Inhale, either baby cobra or full cobra. On the exhale, come back down. So don't go to your downward dog. <laughs> From here, extend the arms forward. 
You want to walk your hips a little bit back so that you create more length in the low back. And then lift your left foot up towards the ceiling. Your right hand will reach behind you and you'll take hold of the inside of the left foot. Now at this point, if you want to, you can use your strap, wrap the strap around your left foot and then take hold of the foot in that way. So using the strap to um, be able to reach the foot here. If not, you can just use your hand <laughs> to hold onto the foot. All right, next inhale, you lift your chest by pressing your foot back and up into the right hand. So you're coming for a half bow. We'll stay here for about three more breaths. Keep pressing your foot back and up. Gently engage your core here to protect your low back. Think of opening the chest. One more deep breath in. And exhale, bring it down. Switch to the other side. So bring your right arm down. Lift the right foot up. So you're bending the right knee. Left hand will reach behind you. Take hold of the inside of your right foot. Option to use your strap and just loop the strap around the foot. All right, next inhale. Again, you lift up by pressing the foot back into the hand and up towards the ceiling. So you have a strong contact point between your foot and your hand. They're pressing into one another. Good, a few more breaths. Think of lifting the right knee away from the floor. Your core is gently engaged. One more inhale. And exhale, bring it back. Good, walk the hands towards either side of your body. You wanna make sure that your wrists are somewhat underneath your elbows. So the palms will be in line with your lower ribs. Press the upper arms in towards the midline. Press all 10 toes down onto the floor, the tops of the toes. Inhale, baby cobra, full cobra, or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Good. We'll walk your feet back together. Inhale, left leg will come up, bend the knee, and open the hips towards the left side. Again, your shoulders stay parallel to the floor, so don't allow them to open up to the left side. Press your chest firmly back towards the right leg, and then bring your awareness to your left knee, your top knee. You wanna press that knee up, but also over the body towards the front of the mat, so that you're opening the hips. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, reach a little bit forward with your weight. Step the left foot over towards the right side of the mat. Come to a wild thing. Inhale, open up. So your chest is facing the ceiling. Left hand is reaching forward towards the front of the mat. One more inhale. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Step your left foot forward. Your right knee will come down. Come back to your low lunge. Inhale, arms come up. Or option two, take hold of opposite elbows. Make sure you sink your hips down, but the core stays engaged, very important. If you're in option two, maybe go for a little back bend. Good, one more inhale. And exhale, bring it down. Step your left foot back, come back to your plank position. Deep breath in. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Look forward, press your chest through the arms, inhale, little cobra or a big cobra, and exhale, bring it back down. Good. This time we'll come for a full bow. So reach your hands behind you, take hold this time of the outside edges of the feet. You wanna make sure that your knees stay about hip distance apart, so don't allow the knees to open all the way up. Um, so that they're wider than the hips. So keep engaging the inner thighs towards one another to keep the knees hips distance. Here again, to lift your chest, you're going to press the feet back into the hands. So you're creating some tension there and then lift your feet up towards the ceiling. Keep your core gently engaged. Two more breaths here. Keep pulling your belly in and up, last inhale. And exhale, release. Good, cross your forearms, bring your forehead down onto the arms. Take a few breaths here. We'll do that one more time in just a minute here. 
Allow your hips and your low back to fully release. And then when you're ready, reach your arms back behind you. Take hold of the outside edges of the feet. Walk the knees in to make sure that they're hips distance apart. And then press the feet into the hands. So pressing backwards and up to lift up. Really good. Again, core stays engaged, very important. Think of lifting your knees up away from the mat. One more inhale. And exhale, come back down to the floor. Really good. From here, roll onto your back. Come to lay down. Good. For now, don't bring your knees into your chest yet. We're going to do one more stretch just to release the low back. So you'll want to walk your uh, feet in towards your hips. Bring your hips over a little bit to the left, knees to the right, and then extend the arms sideways. Now, if you don't have enough space, if you have a wall next to you, just bring the arms at a 90 degree angle. And as long as it feels good, you can look over the left shoulder. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths. This is your option one. If you want to go deeper into the spinal twist, you can cross your legs. So you'll bring your top leg underneath the bottom one. And you want to make sure that your left shoulder is connected to the floor. If it's not, you can walk your shoulders over a little bit towards the right side, just a few centimeters until your left shoulder has the space to come down. Here as well, if it helps, you can imagine the body completely melting into the floor. Release any tension that you might have in the hips and the legs. Release the shoulders. All right, next inhale, bring the feet back to the middle. We'll switch it over to the other side. So this time, walk your hips a little bit over towards the right first so that you're on the outside edge of the left hip. And then the knees will come to the left side. This time, your drishti, your gaze will come over the right shoulder. Option one is to have the legs stacked onto another. If you want to take it further to option two, you just cross your legs. So the top leg comes underneath the bottom one. This will create a little bit more weight and bring you deeper into the twist. Again, making sure this right shoulder blade is connected to the floor. If it's not, you walk your shoulders over a little bit to the left side, just a centimeter or two until that right shoulder comes down. Feel free to close your eyes. Make sure your breath stays deep. And if that helps you, you could imagine your legs melting into one another. So releasing any tension from the deeper parts of the hips. You could even imagine the muscles running alongside your spine, melting and releasing tension so that the spine has a space to be twisted. All right, next inhale, walk the feet back to the middle. This time, if you want to, you can bring your knees into your chest, give them a good squeeze in. Give yourself a nice big hug. If it feels good, you can very gently rock from side to side. Just notice if this doesn't feel good for your spine, just stay still in the middle. You don't have to do this. Good. From here, gently roll over to your right side. Place your left hand down onto the floor and then come up to a seated position. All right, guys, you have made it to the end of the practice. I hope your spine feels a little bit more open and flexible, and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next class. Namaste.